Good evening, everyone. Today is Thursday, August 24, 2023. Jeff Date for Friday, the 25th. All right, let's go. Well, as far as official setups, let's go ahead with this KBH. As you can see, we're getting a plethora of shorts setting up in here. I told you we'd have a plethora of setups soon. Didn't realize they'd be on the short side, though. Uh, but it is what it is. And based on today's action, which is not good, and we're going to flesh that out in a lot of detail, it's uh, beginning to get a little concerning out there obviously on your stops on existing positions just in case we'll take a look at these in just one second as you can see plenty plenty shorts out there coming to uh, one little lonely long i don't see any reason to go after that one but i just like to show you what i'm seeing as far as official setups let's go with the kbh uh, break it down from high levels a bit of a bow tie here stops going to be back up in this base should it trigger and the object here obviously is to catch a longer term top let's take a look at the portfolio real quick and then there's a plethora of stuff if that's a correct way of saying it. there's a lot of stuff you guys laugh when i use the word plethora for some reason but uh some some of y'all say say that it means a lot uh anyway uh knf uh, off a little but uh kind of hanging in there for the most part this is one that actually caught my eye again tonight when i was going through my scans uh, lfmd bit of a bummer down toward the bottom of its range obviously on your stops just in case let's take a look at the overall market and there's plenty of stuff and to look at tonight first of all let's take a look at the peas and then since we're down here's a couple areas i want to look at first of all s p 500 outside day down opening gap reversal everything was fine and dandy in the world the video had good earnings but unfortunately the market obviously came right back in losing about a percent and a third on the day not pretty and not good action we were pushing into these moving averages and we got thwarted right at the 50 so that's kind of an interesting development there while we're down here in the list tlt down a little not the end of the world like i said like i said recently let's just uh, hope these old lows continue to hold dollar actually pretty strong in here banging out some new highs so that's that's an interesting development that might put pressure on stocks seems like a weaker dollar has been good for stocks weaker dollar is good for commodities that's for sure because it takes more dollars to buy them maybe stocks are just another commodity take a look at nasdaq big fat opening gap reversal that's certainly a bummer too obviously we're in downtrend proper order and the bow tie moving averages have bow tie to the downside obviously let's take a look at nvidia real quick and this is uh probably the culprit of a lot of this what's happening today off to the races but it's kind of one and done kind of that burning dog type of action with the opening gap reversal i don't really believe in shorting these things like this but it certainly did stall out and, and came right back in. So that's certainly a big, a bit of a bummer. Let's take a look at some of these areas in here. Rusty 2000 getting whacked fairly hard, down a percent in the third. Same as it ever was so far, though, stuck in the sideways range. Energy's down a little bit in here. Like I've been saying, they really hadn't had much follow through th since this recent breakout. So that scores obviously as a bummer. Financials, as you can see, rolled over in here. So far, just pulling back, not looking too pretty. Let's take a look at some other areas. Drugs coming back in after trying to rally a bit. This is kind of, eh, it's not pretty because, like I've been saying, we just had this one big up day and really not much follow through since. So that scores obviously as a bummer. Health services looking kind of ugly in here, as you can see at multi month lows recently have rolled over all the stronger areas that i've been talking about quite a bit such as manufacturing whole builders and leisure have rolled over and bow tied to the downside retail got whacked pretty hard in here as you can see today beginning to bow tie or bow ties beginning to roll over there closing well below its 50 simple moving average rth looking a little bit worse as you can see beginning to break down in here could bow tie down really really soon a little landry light below that 50 simple moving average let's take a look at the semiconductors semiconductors bit of a bummer because i was hoping we'd see some follow-through on the video i know you should never hope in the markets but one can hope a little bit but then you know trade the reality anyway we had opening gap reversal there so that's kind of ugly nicely open nice open nicely above the 50 tried to say but unfortunately came right back in look at that down close to three percent on today like i've been saying longer term is kind of ugly because we bumped up against these old highs now i sound a little bearish tonight and i am it it's a little ugly out there i don't think it's the end of the world just yet but definitely be prudent definitely be super selective i think it's okay at this point in time to look at a short or to fine with me if we get in the short we get stopped out we start getting long again that's fine with me 
But for now, I think we need to be careful in here and start putting on a short or two as the database produces them. I think that's it for now. I have a chart show later tonight. Uh, Dave Landers Week of Charts, obviously. Would love to have you there if you don't have anything else going on. Uh, if not, uh, everybody uh, have a great night, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.